Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. In this session, we will be discussing about the latest trends which is happening in biotech area. As a biotech expert, I am excited to share with you some of the most promising technologies and sectors that are booming in biotech. Firstly, let's talk about the impact of artificial intelligence and machine learning in the biotech. As you all are seeing the revolution, what is happening around in the field of AI and machine learning, without any doubt, these are impacting our biological sector also. So AI and machine learning have revolutionized the field of biotech by enabling us to analyze and interpret large amount of biological data at a much faster rate than before. This has resulted in the development of new drugs, more accurate diagnosis and also personalized treatment. So let's try to explore a few examples how AI and machine learning is impacting your biotech sector. So AI and machine learning are being used in drug discovery to identify new targets and compounds that can be used to treat diseases. For example, in silico medicine is using AI to develop new drugs for cancer and aging related diseases. We Molecular Informatics and our collaborator Digibiomic Canada also jointly provide the training in AI machine learning which is specially designed for biological community. So any one of you who are interested in doing those AI machine learning based drug designing courses, training or collaboration can contact us. The another example is your predictive analytics. So AI and machine learning are also being used to predict disease outbreak and the spread of infectious diseases. For example, the application of AI to identify COVID-19 infection. The another significant area is your imaging and diagnostic. AI and machine learning are also being used in medical imaging, diagnosis to improve accuracy and speed. There are many reports and studies where AI have been used to improve the accuracy of MRI scans and diagnosis heart diseases. Our collaborator Digibiomic Canada is also using AI machine learning based diagnosis and clinical research project. Moving on, let's talk about another fascinating technology which is aptamer technology. Aptamers are short nucleic acid molecule that can bind to specific targets such as protein cells with high affinity and specificity. And depending on its role, you can utilize these aptamers for diverse applications say drug delivery, bioimaging, sensor technology, therapeutics and so on. I've already made few videos regarding its overview applications and which are the best companies which conduct these kind of work and provide trainings. So I request you to watch that videos. I myself has 15 years of national and international experience in Aptamo technology. So let me give you a few examples how you can use Aptamo. Aptomers are being used to deliver drugs directly to the cancer cells, thereby minimizing the impact on the healthy cells. You may also use Aptomer for biosensor purpose. Aptomers are also being used in a biosensor to detect pathogens and other biological molecules. For example, you can use Aptomer for detection of foodborne pathogen. Aptomers are also being developed as therapeutic to treat a variety of diseases including cancer and autoimmune diseases. There are many aptomers which are currently under the clinical trial and already there are several aptomer based diagnostic products in the market. So next let's talk about the multiomics. As you all are witnessing the data revolution, the sequencing advancement and how it is impacting our biological biotechnological sector. So multiomics involves the study of multiple omic data which include genomics, proteomics, metabolomics, etc. to gain a better understanding of biological system. So multiomics is being used in the precision medicine to develop personalized treatment based on the individual unique genetic makeup and it is playing very significant role in the cancer treatment. The another utilization of multiomics is in the drug development. Multiomic is also being used in drug development to identify new targets and compounds that can be used to treat diseases. And you can also use multiomic for disease diagnosis, say it for precision diagnostic. So multiomic is also being used in disease diagnosis to improve the accuracy and speed. Moving on, let's talk about the Internet of Things, that is IoT. The IoT involves the use of sensors and other devices to collect and transmit the data over the internet. 
and these days iot has been utilized in the biotech sector also so you can utilize iot in the healthcare monitoring as you know iot is being used in healthcare monitoring to track the patient health and provide early intervention when necessary the another area is clinical trial iot is also being used in clinical trial to monitor patient compliance and improve data collection iot is also being used in drug delivery to track the drug delivery and ensure patient compliance for example digital health is using iot to monitor patient adherence to the medication so moving ahead the another significant area is your gene editing as you know biotech is playing a significant role here and in gene editing you are seeing lot of advancement due to sequencing advancement and non talro there is a crispr based technology advancement so both these technology is impacting your gene editing the ability to manipulate gene in living organism is becoming more accessible and efficient with the development of crispr cas9 system for example correcting the genetic defects like sickle cell disease is engineering plant system for better property like dot resistance the another significant area and trends which is happening currently is cell therapy this is the use of living cells to treat or prevent diseases for example cat therapy for cancer stem cell therapy for neurodegenerative diseases and t cell immunotherapy the another significant area is your synthetic biology in biotech sector synthetic biology involves designing and reengineering new biological system that do not exist in the nature it has enormous potential for developing new drugs the next is your precision medicine precision medicine is a personalized approach to healthcare that uses genetic genomic and clinical data to tailor treatment to the individual needs of the patient It offers the potential to improve patient outcome and reduce healthcare costs. For example, pharmacogenomics can be used to identify patients who may have adverse reaction to certain drugs so that allowing them for personalized drug treatment. The another significant example is your liquid biopsy, which is a minimally invasive diagnostic tool that can detect cancer at the early stages, leading to the better treatment outcome. The another area is your immuno oncology. Immuno oncology involves using the immune system to treat cancer. It has shown great promises in improving cancer treatment outcome. For example, the checkpoint inhibitors can be used to block protein that inhibit the immune response to cancer cells, allowing the immune system to attack the cancer. Cancer vaccines can be developed to stimulate the immune system to recognize and attack cancer cells. Additionally, adoptive cell transfer involves modifying T cells to target cancer cells and leading to improved outcome for certain type of cancer. The another significant area is your digital health. So, digital health involves using technology to improve healthcare outcome. It offers the potential to improve the access of healthcare, reduce healthcare cost, and improve patient outcome. For example, telemedicine can be used to provide remote consultation with the healthcare professionals improving the access to the healthcare in the rural area remote monitoring can be used to monitor patient with chronic condition reducing the need of hospitalization electronic health record can be used to improve communication between the healthcare provider and reduce medical error here your ai machine learning and iot are playing a significant role the another area is your bio manufacturing Biomanufacturing involves using living organism to produce valuable product. It offers the potential to create sustainable renewable sources of product. For example, biopharmaceuticals can be produced by using bacteria, yeast, or creating a sustainable source of medication. Industrial enzymes can also be produced by using bacteria leading to improved efficacy in the industrial processes. Biofuels can be produced using algae, bacteria, creating a sustainable alternative to fossil fuel. I have already made few videos uh, regarding biofuels, bioplastic, green chemistry. If you are interested in those sector, you can watch those videos also. Moving ahead, the other area is is your nanobiotechnology, which is also very significant one. Nanobiotechnology involves using nanotechnology to develop new medicine treatment and devices. For example, nanosensor can develop to detect cancer at the early stages. 
nano particles can also be used to deliver the drugs to specific cells in the body reducing the risk of the side effect i've already made few videos on nanobiotechnology its impact in the biomedical application and also nanoinformatics you can watch those videos for getting more information regarding these areas the another very significant area which is having a great impact in multiple areas is your microbiome research which is playing a crucial role in biotechnology the microbiomes refer to the community of microorganism that reside and live in or on our human body microbiome research involves studying the role of these microorganism in human health and diseases For example probiotic can be developed to improve the gut health and reduces the risk of certain diseases fecal microbiota transplantation can be used to treat certain diseases by transferring healthy microorganism to the gut moving ahead the another significant area is your bioinformatics and data revolution which is impacting the biological and biomedical and biotech sector Bioinformatics involves using computational method to analyze biological data. It plays important role in drug discovery, personalized medicine and other areas of biology and biotechnology. For example, machine learning algorithm can be used to identify new drug target. Genome sequencing can be analyzed to identify genetic mutation that increases the risk of certain diseases. You can also analyze the phylogeny taxonomy of the new variant and new mutant related to the organisms and utilize those information in your pharmaceutical and biomedical areas. The another significant area and promising one is your regenerative medicine. Regenerative medicine involves using stem cells and other techniques to regenerate damage or disease tissue and organs. It has a potential to revolutionize healthcare by offering new treatment for a range of condition for example stem cell can be used to regenerate damaged heart tissue after a heart attack 3d printing can be used to create personalized implant for bone and cartilage regeneration the another significant area is your gene therapy gene therapy involves using gene to treat or prevent diseases it has the potential to cure genetic diseases and other disorder for example Gene therapy can be used to replace a defective gene by a healthy one to treat genetic diseases such as cystic fibrosis. It can also be used to modify immune cells to target cancer cells. Moving ahead, another significant area which you can enter is your biomaterial. Biomaterial involves using materials that are compatible with living tissue to develop new medical treatment and devices. For example, artificial skin can be developed using biomaterial to treat burns and other skin injuries. Artificial joints can be developed by using biomaterial to replace damaged joints. The another fascinating area is your biosimilar. Biosimilar are biological drug that are similar to the existing drug and they offer the potential to reduce healthcare cost by providing more affordable alternative to the existing drug. For example, biosimilars can be developed for drugs used to treat autoimmune diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis. The another significant areas which is booming a lot is your neuroscience sector along with the neuroinformatics. Neuroscience involves study the structure and the function of nervous system and the understanding of brain function. It plays an important role in developing treatment for neurological disorders such as Alzheimer, Parkinson disease. For example, deep brain stimulation can be used to treat Parkinson's disease by stimulating specific areas of brain. I have already made videos on neurosciences and neuroinformatics. I request you to watch that also as I myself has experience working from USA in the areas of Alzheimer, Parkinson and new HIV AIDS. Now let's move ahead. The another significant area is your metabolic engineering. So metabolic engineering is also being used in biotech sector. Metabolic engineering involves modifying the metabolic pathways of living organism to produce valuable product. It has potential to revolutionize industries such as energy, agriculture and pharmaceutical. For example, bacteria can be engineered to produce biofuel or industrial chemical that are more sustainable and environmentally friendly than the traditional sources. The another area is your bioelectronic medicine. Bioelectronic medicine involves using electrolysis to stimulate nerves and other tissues in the body. 
It offers potential to treat a range of condition including chronic pain, inflammatory disorder. For example, a device implanted in a body can send electrical signal to the vagus nerve to reduce inflammation. The another significant area is your bioprinting. Bioprinting involves 3D printing technology to create living tissues and organs. It has potential to transform medicine by providing personalized tissue and organs. Additionally, the advanced trend is also happening in the food technology. Biotechnology is revolutionizing the food industry by providing innovative solutions to improve the quality, safety, sustainability of our food supply. Some of the top trends in food tech industry include plant-based meat substitute. Biotech companies are developing plant-based alternative to meat that mimic the taste and the texture of real meat. The another significant area in the food tech is cellular agriculture. This involves growing meat, dairy and other animal products in the lab rather than on the farm, which could help in reducing the environment impact of traditional animal culture. The another impact is in the area of precision fermentation. This technology is used to produce protein and other ingredients through the fermentation of microorganisms, which can be used as a food additive and meat substitute. Biotechnology trend and advancement is also happening in agriculture. It's a trending and promising area and a country like India, where the last section of our economy is also based on agriculture. So the impact of biotechnology in agriculture is a significant one. Biotechnology is also transforming the agriculture industry by providing new tools and techniques to improve crop yield, reduces the environmental impact and enhances the food security. Some of the top trends in agriculture biotech include genome editing. This technology, as you know, can be used to develop crops that are more resistant to pests and diseases, as well as crops with enhanced nutritional property. The another sector which is important here is your precision agriculture. This involves using data and technology to optimize crop management, reduces waste, and increases the efficiency. The another is your biologicals. These are the products derived from living organisms that can be used to enhance the plant health and protect against the pests and diseases. Biotechnology is also making waves in the beauty industry by providing new ingredients and formulation that offers better performance and safety. Biotech companies are developing natural and sustainable ingredients that are safe for the environment. Microbiome friendly skin care. This involves using probiotic and other microbiome friendly ingredient to improve the skin health and balance. Cell based ingredient. Biotech companies are also developing cell based ingredients such as collagen, elastin, which offer superior performance and safety compared to the traditional animal derived ingredient. And lastly, a very important area where biotech is having a great impact is your antimicrobial resistance which is a growing public health threat and biotechnology is playing a key role in developing new solution to compact it. So some of the top trends in AMR biotech includes new antibiotic studies and development related to new antibiotic. The biotech companies are developing new antibiotic that can overcome drug resistant bacteria and finally you can also use microbiome modulation. This involves using probiotic and other strategies to enhance the body natural defense against infection. Uh, these are few of the examples what is happening in the biotech sector. I hope you have liked the session and you are going to explore these areas further. If you have any queries related to these subject area, please feel free to reach me. And don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and do share these information among your scientific community and student. Thank you.